are you homeschooling multiple children? And their stuff is just all over the place. Their notebooks and their cups and just everything. And when you ask who it belongs to, you get the, not me, not me. Well, if you have the case of the not me's at your house, then you are going to want the solution that I have found. Hi, I'm Christy with Homeschooling in Progress, and I've been homeschooling multiple children for many years now. And there is one thing that I have found that I cannot live without in our homeschool, and that is color coding. If we did not have color coding, I would probably lose my mind. <laughs> so what is color coding? Well, your color coding is basically just assigning each of your children a certain color, and then you buy everything you can in that color <laughs> that you can buy for your each of your children. We're talking notebooks and folders and binders and cups and bath towels and just anything that you can in that color. So why would you want to do that? Well, it's going to save you time in your homeschool day. It's going to save you some space in your planner. And it'll also save you your sanity. <laughs> or at least some of it. <laughs> so how does it save you time in your day? Well, color coding saves you time because you assign each child a color. So, for example, in our home, my oldest daughter, um, well, my only daughter, is purple. And then my oldest son is blue. My middle son is green. And then the little guy is usually red. I don't know if we've really assigned him a color yet, um, but he's usually red. So when we... You know, when I go and buy folders or notebooks for school or, um, you know, when we use plates and cups with their bath towels, when we bought those, we buy them in those colors. So then not only do, you know, do I know who it belongs to, but then they do too. And so, you know, like if my oldest son is looking for his notebook to do his math, well then... He doesn't have to look through every single notebook that we own. You know, that's probably all over the floor. He just has to look for the blue notebooks. And then he can see, oh, here's a blue notebook. Yep, this is my math book. And so it saves a lot of time and frustration, too, for the kids and for you. Um, and then not only that, but then, you know, when they leave things laying around, you know who to yell at also. And so that's how it can save your sanity. <laughs> um, so. Using color coding will save you time in your homeschool day and a little bit of your sanity, too. But then it also will save you space in your homeschool planner if you use a planner. I'm a type A personality, so I have to use a planner. Anyway, so then in my planner, how I save space with that, you know those planner boxes, you know, are so tiny. And so I don't want to waste any precious space by writing each of my kids' names in there. So what I do is I use their colors. So then for my oldest son's assignments, his are all done in blue. And then my middle sons are all done in green. And then I even have colors for their group work, for our morning basket work. Like I said, I'm type A, so I plan everything. But it works for me. It's, it organizes my mind as well as my planner. And so... That saves us so much, that saves me so much space because then I don't have to write their names also. And I do have some kids with the same initials, so I can't even go that route. So color coding definitely works. And the nice thing is also the boys have their assignment books that I write in each day of what their assignment's going to be. Well, you know, sometimes mom forgets. And so they can easily look at my planner and they know which color is theirs, so then they know which assignments are theirs as well. So that's also nice, too. It gives a little bit of independence for them. So you definitely want to be color coding if you have multiple children. It, if you haven't done it yet, do it, and then you will see, oh my goodness, I cannot believe how well this works. We have been doing it since the kids were itty-bitty and have been assigning them colors to things. And then so when we started homeschooling, it just seemed to work right into that as well. And it is something that I could never not do anymore. So give it a try and see how it works out for your homeschool. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Happy homeschooling.